On that day at Fiesta Island, the group of cyclists were headed on the road in this direction. At the same time, a car going the wrong way, appearing suddenly around this blind corner, and then a collision. In the chaos that followed. I remember f not feeling my legs immediately. Juan Carlos Vanillo knew he was in bad shape. To the point that I, had, I asked someone that was holding me up to, if my legs were still attached to me. Ten cyclists injured. Vanillo got the worst of it. I'm paralyzed from, from the half of the chest down. The driver later found guilty of a DUI, but Vanillo's lawyers say she had only trace amounts of meth. Instead, oh, well, that's a death trap right there. Vanillo is frustrated at the city. Cars are going, you can't see these cars right now. They completely disappear. Brandon Ewers, another cyclist struck that day, points out that overgrown brush in that blind corner, pruned back after the accident, is a problem once again. Another concern alleged in a just filed suit against the city, signage. Lawyer Mike Bomberger says there were too few wrong way signs, and since the wrong way driver was facing this sign, she thought she was going the right direction. Bomberger also calls wrong way driving here, especially with city vehicles, rampant. We have hundreds of videos of cars, people, pedestrians, all traveling the opposite direction out here. The city knows that, but they've done nothing to address the problem. He contends there is little enforcement. It didn't take long for us to find an example. You know you're going the wrong way. His answer was no. It's just a matter of time for something bad to happen again. How many people won't have to suffer? Michael Jen, 10 News.